For today's video, I'm going to be doing this orangey eye makeup look using the new Morphe Pressed Pigment. Um, I recently ordered this in the mail on Black Friday and it just got here. And this is going to be basically the star of the show, you guys. This has a special place in my heart. Can we just take a moment to appreciate my 25 cent shirt that I got at the thrift store? It's a freaking boxer dog with boxing gloves. Like, how freaking cute is that? Like, I love it, and it was 25 cents. So, yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off today's look, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light and dabbing this all over my eyelids as my eyeshadow base. This works really well to cover up all the veins and discoloration. And I'm just going to be blending that out with my Morphe M173 brush and just blending this all the way up until you reach the um, underneath of your eyebrows. Just make sure that you buff that in really good. And then after that, I'm going to be taking the brush that came with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette and taking the first shade, Tempera, and just dusting this all over the concealer just to set that in place and give our eyeshadows a nice base um, for blending. Now I'm going to be dipping into the shade Raw Sienna, which is the color right under Tempera, and I'm going to be using that same Anastasia brush and just blending this all into my crease so that way it'll give me a really nice transition shade and all of the colors will blend nicely. I went a little hard on the outer corner, but this brush is super good for blending and really distributing the color very well. Now I'm going to be taking my Morphe B38 and just dipping into the shade Burnt Orange. And I also added some tape so that way I could have a super defined edge and also I use this. It really helps with my eyeliner. And I am just going to be blending that shade Burnt Orange into my crease and also along my outer V just to deepen it up. Now for the star of the show, I'm going to be taking the Morphe Press Pigment in the shade High Class. You guys, this shade is so beautiful, like, oh my gosh, I die. But but I'm just going to be taking a Morphe M224 brush and spritzing it with the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer Mist and then just dipping it into the um, pressed pigment. I quickly realized this didn't work, so I just dipped in it with my hand and that gave me the best pigment. And you guys, this stuff is so pigmented. Now I'm just going to be going back in with the shade Burnt Orange on that same Morphe brush and just blending out the edges so that way everything blends together flawless. Like I said, no harsh lines. We really don't want that. And just taking the shades that you already put and blending it right back in. Now I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Sketch Marker Eyeliner in the shade Black. I love this stuff. It works really, really well and is very pigmented. I'm just going to be lining my lash line with this and following the tape to create the sharpest wing possible. This trick is super awesome if you're a beginner or you're just not a pro at creating a super sharp winged, line, winged liner on your own. You guys, this trick helps me tremendously get a really sharp eyeliner. So I'm just taking that and following my lash line. And once you feel like your eyeliner and your eyeshadow are complete, you just rip off the tape and reveal that super sharp liner and everything looks great. Now I'm going to be taking the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash and just coating my lashes in this. It's super black and really helps to curl my lashes. Being somebody that has super straight lashes, I love this mascara. 
and I'm just coating them with a lot because I am going to be wearing false lashes and I want everything to blend in seamlessly. Now I'm just going to be taking the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade black and just tight lining my lash line so that way my lashes will look good. Now I'm going to be taking the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. These were a bitch to work with, but I got them on. And now I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup off camera, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, and this is the completed look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did, and comment down below what you guys want to see next. And also, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.